My ex-boyfriend of six years, love him, really good guy. The last year of our relationship, I started cheating on him with a guy in LA, and that guy was the one who told me, break with your boyfriend, move to LA. Was he cheating on you too, or? He's a good boy. Why did you cheat on your six-year relationship? Ugh, I was so bored and so young. What? And just like, when you're that young, it's like you don't know what you want in life, and like in the moment, it seems like a good setup, and you think you're happy and content, and then- Why do you think like women and men aren't getting married anymore? You wanna answer that? I think part of it could, could be selfishness, that they're thinking of themselves and not realizing how happy they could be with a family and children. Yeah, I you know, they just don't. That's a good point. Don't put a value on that. You reach like 2021 20, and you're like, oh fuck, like I have a lot of life to live and like I didn't want to stay in Nevada. And then I met this guy who was like my dream guy who was like so fucking hot. And like my ex boyfriend of six years, we stopped having sex. Like I wasn't sexually attracted to him. It was just like we were so comfortable and like family and like roommates at that point. Please tell me that this is not real and that this is a skit. Even if this ain't a skit, let's not act like this ish ain't real. Sometimes I feel like there should be courses taught in how to deal with women that go through this hormonal bullshit. I remember one time I had this chick over my crib. I said, yo, listen, I'm gonna go get some snacks from the store and I'm going to go get some snacks. It took a little bit longer, probably about 30, 45 minutes because I ran into a friend that I hadn't seen in a long time. I finally get back to the crib, open the door, walk in, show the delicious snacks that I have. She's sitting up on the couch like this with a scowl on her face. I said, what's wrong? She looked at me dead in the eye with the same scowl on her face and said, you just left to go F a chick. I stood there stunned, like just looking at her through that accusation, but maintained frame through her hormonal shit test. Long story short, there's no such thing as a woman who's not crazy. You just gotta try to find the ones that are the least crazy of the bunch. Um, but like just, there was no sexual romantic aspect to it. So then I met that guy and... Straight up hypergamous demon behavior that turned a good guy into a dog. Women like this inevitably complain about the men that they are creating. Instead of destroying your ex-boyfriend who you claim was a good guy, does your super saiyan harlot smooth brain ass even think to break up with him first? But not even just that, but you continue to embarrass him by going on public platforms to continue to shame him. The quest for dopamine overrides common sense nowadays. Why would we pay for drinks at the clock hotel? Why, who's paying? The old men. You guys into sugar daddies? Yes. 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 We're yeah. looking for a um, double sugar daddy day. What have you got to offer the sugar daddy? We have nothing. We have nothing. Emily, I can't help you carry groceries because it's implying that women are not strong enough to carry all the groceries. I believe in women too much to help you carry these. I'm going to need you to put all these groceries in the fridge as well. I'm not going to mansplain how to, you know, organize a fridge. You're way too smart and strong for that, so you can just put all those away, I'm gonna go play League. See you later. I wasn't expecting to suddenly see a video of you and four guys. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't mean much to you at all in the first place. Because you find that funny that I found out. Why, why are you acting rappers. like this? Wow, okay, wow. She does not even sorry. I'm as shocked as, as you are with all this. Four guys. I'm thinking about proposing to you, and then I see a video of four guys all taking thirds. And you just keep laughing. She just keeps laughing, Steve. You, this is, at the same time, you raised this girl as well, you know? Yeah. And you haven't even apologised. You've got nothing to say. Mouth's empty. In the video, it definitely wasn't. And you just laugh. She belongs to the street. I had a one night stand last night and he says to me, oh my God, that was amazing. You want to play a game? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And he's like, have you ever heard of the airplane game? And I'm like, Sounds kinky, but no. How do you play that? And he's like, you take the f off. City boy! City boy! What they don't understand is that masculine men don't respect you. And by proxy, we don't want to keep you. You are to be discarded. Easy come, easy go. I'll ask you another question. How do you tell your girlfriend that she's getting fat? I She's probably would say you, you do? don't. Beta! To be honest with you, in my current situation, I would tell one of the kids to say it. Get the French toast out of here. <laughs>
<laughs> That's what I would do. I would I would say I'll give you I'll buy you like Nutella. I'll give you unlimited Nutella till September. If you just whisper in mommy's ear <laughs> that she's getting a little fat and you don't want to lose mommy. Beta! And I'll, I'll yeah. and then also it's a good test because I would know then if one of my kids which one's a fat and which one will just right. is loyal to this goddamn family. Beta! These men having to tiptoe around their woman demonstrates the fall of the modern man today. Weak and submissive to their woman out of fear. But hey, guess what? If you lose your income, if you lose your financial foundation, it'll take about a month before she begins to tell you what a real man is supposed to do about it. And you're gonna soon find that the carefulness that you extend to her won't be reciprocated. You say he lost his job today? Yeah. I will leave him today. Here, if you have- If your man lost his job today, how long would it take for you to leave him if you would leave him? No, I don't need a man. I'm an engineer. Like, we're good. We're good, I promise. Not very long. I mean, no. I ain't putting up with that crap. No. I love my man, so I'd support him. That's fair enough. If your man was to lose his job today, how long would it take before you leave him if you were to leave him? 17, 7 minutes. Damn. 14 minutes. 14 minutes. What is the first word that comes to your mind when you look at me? That Georgie isn't here, baby girl. Lay off the foundation, ma'am. No man finds this attractive. Go in for a kiss and come back looking like you just did a line of the booger sugar. I'm 38. And never been nay. Have you ever been nay? Really, Nana? 38 years old. Really? And never been nay. No children or nothing. You sure miss a lot of life. Why do I have to get married and have kids to have a good life? You do have no good life. I do. You don't go nowhere. I do. I just got back from a trip. By yourself, no man. If you don't have a man, you ain't nothing. Really? I'm not nothing without a man, huh? You're not a lesbian, are you? <laughs> are you? No, I had a husband, tell you that, huh? I still have sex. You what? I still have sex. I know you do, but that's not right. That's dirty. <laughs> Sleeping around like a... Ah! It's one person. One person. Sleeping around like a... How old are you? I'm 25. And how old is your man? He's 53. But with a 20 plus year age gap, what do you two have in common? We have a lot in common. We are both very sentimental people, very in tune with our emotions, um, looking for genuine love, like to have fun, like to eat good food, love to experience new things. And does he have any kids? He has three kids. How old are they? Like more like 20, 21, 22. But, but like, you don't think it's a little awkward being that, you know, you're kind of seeing and being intimate with their dad who's, you know, their dad and y'all are the same age? Their dad is a hot young guy. I'm sure they hear that a lot, too, from their friends. And, like, their dad isn't, like, some senile guy who's walking around with a cane and staying at home every Friday night. Like, he's out. He's getting bottles. And there are young girls around. Like, I'm sure they're used to that and would expect that too. Like, I don't think they would be opposed to it. Like when you have a dad that that's hot, that's that hot, what do you expect? You, you think that he's gonna go and be with some like old lady? <laughs> More of the story, gentlemen, stay fit, stay strong and stay healthy. You should be exercising at least 20 minutes every day so you can ensure that you look awesome even at old age. And when you get there, do not let older women shame you out of your newfound dating options. They hate this dynamic because the resources are being shifted from them to younger women, leaving them high and dry on the sidelines. In other words, the wall remains undefeated. How much do I owe you for rent again? Uh, $800. I just don't have a lot of money at the moment. Is there something else that I could give you instead? No, I'd probably just like the money. Could I interest you in one tip? I'd really just appreciate the rent money. There's Big true. so much surface area, you know, so many options. Money. I don't really want that and i'm into everything <laughs> watching each other go number two <clears throat> you know what let's just forget about it okay really yeah well i mean it's just monopoly money okay thanks my turn good old capitalism if it isn't the oldest business known to mankind
striking again. If she's willing to do this for Monopoly money, just imagine what she's willing to do if it was real. She belongs to the streets.